Wow, man. It is mind blowing to me that there are literally two events with the same exact choice. In the same exact sectors. Slug or slug controlled. Slug or uncharted. Investigate the battlefield and one does whole, five whole damage. It's not even guaranteed. This was a one in five to take this five whole damage, by the way. Three times nothing happens. One time you get assist the survivor. And the other time. I just I just lost a one in five from an event that has the same exact verbiage for the choice that killed me. Oh my god, man. Well, I don't want to end the stream this early, and I don't want to go play another game. I don't want to play this game, so I guess I'm suffering through more FTL here. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> this is so frustrating, man. Oh, uh, even when I think I'm making the right play, I make the wrong play. Uh, just best fan is a new viewer. Thanks. Just random a ship. See what we get. Stealthy. Fine. Let's play stealthy. I don't care. I don't effing care anymore. I'm in. I'm in that. I don't effing care anymore mode. Chat. Just don't even care. Don't even care anymore. Yeah, rip doubters. I'm not even doing any. If anybody, if we have somebody who wants to do the bets, you can feel free. I, I'm not messing with it right now. I, I, I can't. I just can't with FTL right now. I'm just going through the motions. All that work, 19 wins in a row, and we lose on frickin' Zoltan A, man. Frickin' Zoltan A, it's just insane. Doesn't matter what ship you play in this game, they'll just effin' destroy you. Ah. These are the days, these are the days that have burned me out from streaming, and I hate being this negative. Should be streaming and playing video games to have a good time, and then I play FTL and this happens and I can't have a good time anymore, man. Somebody can highlight it so when people ask what happened, you can say check the VOD. Well, it's too late. Okay, good dodge. Second time we lose to Rand, forcing the win for Believers. What? I don't even know what that means. I wasn't trying to force anything, I was trying to play my best. Uh, are you saying you lost cookies because you were trying to add cookies to the pile, I guess is what you're saying. fair it was the bs of a ship that mangled me yeah i was captain knights and honestly i tried to avoid the fight and it didn't even let me how often ftl captain knights how often does he just ignore decline you have no choice so you never actually get to do that i would have needed to have a slug crew to avoid that fight so that's a literally an unavoidable event unless you have slug crew and win a blue option 50-50. It's an epic game, man, I swear. Uh, how far are we from shields? I don't even know. Just raging so hard. Captain Knights is an OC, I don't know what that means. Do not know what that means. Original content or something? I don't know.
Ah, so sad, man. So sad. Well, you know, at least I've gotten the streak once, right? Gotten the streak once. Never again, apparently. Never again. I thought I was playing so well this uh, this streak too. <laughs> I just been playing so well. Uh, how much do I need for the shields? I don't even know how much these sell for. It's like fifteen, like thirty. I think we have enough for it still. OC is a fan-made character. Oh, nah, I don't, that I don't know. Feels bad, man. I, I fucking called it, too. I literally said, how bad would it be if I die on Zoltan A after getting the Zoltan C win? I literally called it. Shooting my weapons over and over. I'm gonna rename the slug. Okay, maybe. I make no promises right Death now. Death by a thousand fucking missiles. Too pissed off to do anything like that right now. Uh, FTL does not allow fun, and so I'm no longer having any fun. So it's hard for me to not die. Apparently. I had fucking half his dodges, man. Sure would be nice. Literally dodging nothing while he is literally, literally dodging over half of my shots while having shield value for me. Fuck you, FTL. He has hit my fucking weapons like seven times or some shit on this fight. Doors on fire right now. <sighs> this is such a stupid game. Then why do you play it, Rand? Because I'm stupid, apparently. That's why I play it, because I'm a stupid effing person who plays stupid effing games, I guess. No cookies despite being a doubter. Did I not do it? I swear I pressed the button that doubters. I already did the doubter thing, I think. There's still a fire somewhere. I'm hearing fire somewhere. What happened? Did I say yes or something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, s I paid the wrong people. If I had mods that would do this shit for me, maybe I wouldn't emotionally fail at all these things, but uh, Pie Boy is the only one who ever actually does that for me, so hashtag blame me, hashtag blame the, mod blame the mods. I'm in a really bad mental place every time I lose, as you all know, so I'm just... can't... can't care right now, I'm sorry. Blame why I want FTL, yeah, probably his fault, probably. Still get through, probably does. Okay. Oh, God. Am I dead? Fuck you, I think I'm just instantly dead. Cheating ass motherfucker. I think I'm just instantly dead. Is that a two damage missile? Go fuck yes. yourself, FTL. Well, there you go, Geogenesis. Even if you were the slug, your life would have been less than 10 minutes. So. This is a fun game, chat. Don't you love this game? It's the best game ever made. Mantis B. All right, let's go. Such a fun game. Best game ever made. So much fun.
Trying to see if you can change the old one. Uh, oh, you're trying to fix the prediction? Wow, that blue option got me literally nothing, huh? I think you, the only thing you do is make a new one and have the same people put their same stuff in and pick. I don't know. I don't know. I really... <laughs> just so frustrated right now. I'm fighting ships that I literally can't kill. I'm dying over and over. Like, this is just... Today is showing why I want to quit playing FTL and quit streaming FTL. It's, this is just the, the perfect example of why I'm burned out. Just giving me the. This is just showing the perfect example of why this game is so frustrating and why I kind of want to not play it anymore. And especially not have it be the thing that is my life, my my livelihood. It's just it's just pain and suffering and frustration and. I can see why Hollow quit playing this effing game. You know. Reason Hollow quit playing this effing game. I don't know how I'm gonna actually. Let's go. I gotta. This guy's all together. Okay, I cannot force him out of there. Heal. Alright, if this guy goes to shields, I think maybe we can do this. Two guys in shields. One guy here. You go like this. Give him time to actually kill the heal bay, hopefully. There we go. We got it. <sighs> cool. Let's lose some more 50-50s, chat. I love losing 50-50s over and over and over and over and over again. Such a skillful game I'm playing. Such a skillful game. I'm going to load up the custom ship. Shaped like a flak that shoots flak artillery. Would that make me happy? Nah. Nah. Playing FTL doesn't make me happy anymore, really. Streaming and hanging out with you awesome people makes me happy. Playing this game. It's been a while since I've been happy playing this game. It's, again, the reason why I've just kind of been so burned out of streaming lately. I know, and I don't, and I, I'm sorry for all the negativity. I just, you all know, I, I want to win, and I play FTL, and I get wrecked. And I just, it feels pointless what I'm even attempting to do, you know? Time to change their workout stream with a punching bag. I wish I had a punching bag. Um... Could you land in weapons? It'd be very nice. No, nope. so now we take damage. Cool. I want to speed hack right now, but I also don't want to speed hack because he hits my shield and we're in really bad shape. In before chat is your punching bag, yeah. Cool zero dodge is cool. Oh, my drone control is offline. That's cool. It's understandable to burn out after having seen the cycle. Once that goal is done, it feels like there would be less intended to put up with FTL's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my motivation to play this game continues to go down with every loss. <laughs> This doesn't feel like I'm working towards anything I care about anymore. <clears throat> Risky speed hack practice in. 
What am I doing with speed hack? Just dying, I guess? Finally, he goes to the system I actually care about him taking offline. Finally. as he goes there too. Turn the speed hack on and off again quickly. Oh, that's what you're talking about. I don't know, I'm at the effort stage again. The fun of, uh, you know, my streak's going well, I have good viewership, then I die, all my viewership goes away, and I'm just mad at life, and I feel like everything I do is just an endless cycle of shit and frustration, you know? That's, we're at that point again. When I win, I feel great. Then I lose and I feel horrible. And that's just, that's where we are right now. It's the uh, lose and feel horrible position. Even when I feel like I was playing quite well. Felt like I was feeling, playing quite well and Sector 4 Captain Knights and uh, and whatever the hell killed us, the five whole damage event. The life lesson in there somewhere, huh? Yeah. I get all introspective when I lose a streak and whatever. Didn't realize viewers drop and take a loss, that's an IRL punishment. Well, it's this weird thing with streaming, you know? When you're doing well, people don't want you succeed. They want to see people who are really good. Then when you fail, at least my experience in FTL, viewership drops off. So, you know. I don't know if it's because of my negativity or if it's because people don't care about a streak unless it's, you know, above 10 or something, you know? And that's that's the burnout I've been experiencing majorly lately. It's, 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 it's hard to stay motivated when, when the game you play is so RNG-based. And the success of you, you know, doing well is based on getting lucky, you know? You missed a lot of bad stuff, Zach Doc. Check the VOD. Check the VOD. We're getting all existential crisis again. All the cool people are still here. Thanks, cool people. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you being here. Sorry I'm such a negative Nancy. But I'm just kind of hating life right now, you know? Died because Wiki lied. Well, if you look further, I didn't actually die because Wiki lied. I lied because I feel a piece of shit. And there are two events in the same sector that have the same exact line. There's actually two events with the same exact line. But yeah, hashtag blame the wiki, I guess. Free shield hack event, huh? Fucking god. Shield hack beam drone ion. And he boards the one room, I can't kill him. Fuck you, FTL. Just fuck you. Fuck you and your shitty bullshit game. Literally can't do jack shit here. Just literally can't do fucking shit here. God, I fucking hate this game so much, man. And now we got a fire in the doors in O2, and I probably die. Uh, better get you over here so the. I don't know, I'm probably fucking dead. It doesn't really goddamn matter. Shit is so. Doomed, man. I'm so cursed right now. Maybe I should just play Satisfactory now. No, I'm not in a mood to enjoy Satisfactory right now. If I if I stop playing FTL, I'm 
I'm not streaking at all right now. I'm not streaming at all, I mean to say. I'm just gonna keep randoming over and over here. Unfreaking believable how much of. You know, I don't know who's a punching bag right now? Me. My FTL is, is what is a punching bag right now. So this is three, four losses in a row, and I'm, I'm actually trying to kind of play, but FTL is just fucking insanely punishing right now. It's just, just brutal, man. Adam's Everything talks about that. At the beginning of his RimWorld runs, viewers go up in the middle of drops for the ending, people come back. Yeah. I definitely experienced that in FTL. I mean, my best viewership ever that what didn't, didn't include a um, raid was when we were on run 28. We got almost up to 200 viewers or something crazy. But anywhere, anytime I'm below like 10, it's, you know, it's still better viewership than any other game I play, but it's probably between 70 to 120 at most or something. So it's just, just how, how the beast is, I guess. And I, I'm, oh, and I'm just so burnt out on FTL. You can, you all can see it. I can feel it. Wow, first jump pre-igniter. The cycle of abuse it continues. Here's a bunch of pain, and then here's the best free augment you could possibly get in the world. Just insane. Cycle of abuse, man. What's up, YTK? Most viewers come from FTL at some point. You gotta quit for your own sake. Well, that's that's literally what I'm doing. Um, after um, after this Christmas season, I'm not sure if I'm gonna quit forever or quit FTL for good. But I'm I'm not mainstreaming FTL if I can find another job because uh, the burnout is just it's too. Burnout's too strong, man. Why isn't this stealth be with the first jump pre igniter? I know, right? Yeah, the game's gonna love bombing now after the hate shaming or whatever it is, yeah. And our second shield. Uh, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Uh, you want to be a sweet lane? Yeah, sure. Give me a second. There are fewer and fewer FTL streamers. Yeah, I'm guessing a lot of... It is weird lately. Um... I have been seeing fewer and fewer people stream. Like, I don't know if uh, Crow. I think I occasionally see Crow. I'm forcing through here. Not doing it. Okay. Um, I don't know if Farb ever streams anymore. I know Hollow stopped. Uh, I think Billy One Kirby may have played a little bit at some point. There really aren't. I feel like there's a lot of burnout going on with FTO over the last little while. Yeah, hello, Doom Brotato. You haven't seen Farb or uh, Empowers for ages? Yeah. Uh, feels like maybe we've reached a plateau or something. I mean, Mike still plays and does research and stuff, but I don't know that Mike has ever really been a big streamer for the game. Uh, you're gonna stick around and watch whatever I played in Jality, so others will do, and new ones will join, and maybe a longer break from will give you some interest in it again, like only doing it one time a week. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Really, my goal is to play games that... I, part of the reason I'm feeling so much burnout is not just because I'm playing FTL so much, it's because that I've kind of lost the drive to try to accomplish anything in the game. And it just doesn't feel 
Like, you gotta have a goal for something. And we reached our goal of getting the cycle completed. And now it's just pain for the sake of viewership. And that's, to me, that's what feels like most like a sellout. Is like, I'm not playing FTL because of the passion of FTL and the challenge of it anymore. I'm doing it because that's what people like to watch me do. And, you know, that's not really why I even started streaming and I don't want that to be what my streaming is. I want it to be because I want to complete a goal or successfully get really good at something and I'm losing that for FTL. So the motivation is going away, yeah. Other challenges. This is kind of the peak of FTL challenges is Harmonopause. So other challenges feel kind of lackluster. And Alexander wept seeing as he had no more worlds to conquer. Yeah, right. Two. There's Zoltan Shield Bypass. We're going full boarding mode. First leader two would be nice, but... Well, taking out ourselves for 60. Nah. And we're just a boarding ship. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a good quote, Tyler. It's a good quote. I wouldn't say I am like a world conqueror like Alexander. Hollow, you could probably say that about, since nobody is even doesn't even have any competition anymore. That's probably why he stopped. Uh, conversely, I'm one of the best FTL players in the world. It's understandable that people are most keen to watch you play that, as they can see things that very people can do. It's true. Let's get a score. Oh, good positioning on that. Kind of like uh, I was talking about um, the best um, League, League of Legends player in the world, Faker, just won Worlds for the fifth time. How does he stay motivated to keep playing the game? Like, nobody is even in the same ballpark in, like, amount of success and popularity and... I mean, he gets paid millions and millions and millions of dollars. That's probably a pretty big incentive. Maybe if I got millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars to play FTL, I could work up some motivation. But uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody's paying me millions and millions and millions of dollars to raid to this game. I have an election stream. Mm. Gosh, no thanks. If someone wanted to become an FTL streamer, it's a good time to start. Yeah, true. If they're good at it. The door is wide open, it seems like. The checks help. Yeah, those massive checks can help. People who make insane money find it easier to stay at it. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. They also, you know, they'll have things that, like, they'll have, like, actual therapists. Not only just for, like, physical, like, keeping their hands in shape, but, like, mental... You know, people that help them stay motivated and uh, stay in a good um, uh, you know, headspace and all that kind of stuff. I feel like I could really use a, what do you even call those, like life coaches or something? I could, I could really use life coach or something. PvP aspect helps too. Taps the natural human competitive nature. True. True. Uh, I, I think I agree that PvP games have kind of a naturally... Uh, easier to sustain, sustain life cycle. Can I get this guy to run through this room? Okay, I'm going go here. Yeah, that'll work. easier to sustain competitive loop something like that occupational therapist sports coach yeah one of those things you started to watch me because of FTL you actually like watch me play other games a lot as you were never into automation games for example so you're not mainly my FTL source anymore well nice ninjality it's nice nice to hear that I appreciate that that is encouraging I'm actually just gonna sell pre for hacking right now which you know, might sound crazy to people who are new to the game, but we're a boarding ship. 
Our systems are now done except for like backup batteries, so now we can hack cloak, all that kind of stuff. Or not hack cloak, but hack uh, hack weapons, board weapons, all that. Like to me it's interesting to talk about this kind of stuff. Like how I, I really don't care about FTL anymore, and it's probably not good for me keeping viewers to say stuff like that, but I just like talking about video games. Like I will watch videos of Asmongold, who I think has some of the worst takes about things, but I'll watch it because he's having discussion about a discussion about, you know, what's good in video games or you know, um what the latest terrible decision Blizzard has made about their games. Like I just like talking about video game stuff. So Maybe I need to start doing like Asmund Gold reaction to start watching video game videos on YouTube and talk about them. <laughs> that might actually, you know what, if I die on this run, I might just do that because I'm so over FTL right now. Let's see what's going on in the video game world right now. You said that name, you thought I meant this streamer who was in her bikini all the time for her simps. You don't know either of their names very well. Um... Not sure who you're talking about, because Asmund Gold is a white streamer with stringy hair who everybody watches. His his YouTube videos get like a million views in two days, it's insane. You think he might be talking about Amaranth? Oh, I don't know about Amaranth. Asmund Gold is like probably Top five most popular people on Twitch YouTube when it comes to the gaming industry, I think. Maybe top two or three, honestly. I don't watch a lot of the other ones. Like, I don't watch, like, Soda Poppin' or Ninja or anything, so I don't know how he compares to some of them, but his views have hundreds of thousand views in just minutes. It's crazy. Uh, other thing is that you're really good at video games. You get wrecked and satisfactory by the monsters. I make it look easy. Well, thank you. I try to be good at video games. It's why I'm so ragey when I lose, because I care about actually not sucking. Uh, engine power. One more power. Uh, you never heard of the Asmund Gold dude? Okay. You might actually like him, I watch FTL. A lot of his takes are pretty anti, um... Like the video I watched a little bit of yesterday, that I didn't watch the whole thing of, was about... He was reacting to, he does all these reacts. He watches other people's videos and then reacts to them and gives his takes. And the one I watched part of but didn't watch the whole thing of was about... There's There are too many agendas in video games. Like, you know... I don't want to get into too much because I don't want to offend anybody, but, you know, powerful women in video games and using characters that have pronouns in video games and political things in video games and, you know, I have a feeling you might actually find some of his takes pretty interesting, would be my guess. Because I find some of his takes interesting. Some of them I find bad, but some of them are like, okay, this is an interesting discussion and I like to see what the discussion is in the in the video game space right now. Rand is bald, Asmongold is balding. They're basically the same person, but with highly different levels of personal hygiene. <laughs> yeah, true. Never heard of Amaranth? Yeah, I'm not familiar with Amaranth either. But like the, the YouTubers I watch just to like keep my pulse on what's going on in the gaming industry is um, I watch Force Gaming because he'll He'll do reviews of games that are coming out and talk about games I'm interested in. I'll sometimes watch Asmund Gold stuff if it's a subject I think might be interesting. I think you're talking. I think you saw him talking about ESG financing. Yeah, he talks about like investing and politics that I stay out of. Like he will just react to anything. That's like his whole shtick now. I feel like if he plays video games, he probably loses viewers or something, which is kind of crazy, but. Uh, Asmongold cleaned his house because he got banned. Yeah, he also gets banned all the time. <laughs> a thing with him. That is a cheap NG. But I do have a store coming up. 
but I kind of just want a cheap NG, so I'm going to do that. Uh... Oh, I had exact scrap for that NG, huh? Interesting. Uh, you're so checking out on AAA games. Checked out on AAA games. You're not even interested to hear anyone's take on them. Well, he, it's not always AAA games. Like, he'll talk about whatever... Wow, I literally can't do anything at a store right now. Oh, I do have two defense drones to sell. Never mind. Like, he'll talk about, you know, um... <sighs> Last Epoch, when it got really big on YouTube, because everybody's kind of pissed off at how bad and consistently not responsive to player feedback Blizzard was with Diablo 4 and um, Last Epoch was about to come out. It kind of blew up on YouTube and he was like talking about it on YouTube and stuff like that. So not all AAA stuff. Just whatever's popular that he reacts to, I think. But that's how you make it as a content creator. You react to what's popular, right? What's it mean? Environmental, social... Governance, finance, investment is directed towards certain environmental and social agendas, which is why so many games and movies now push a certain agenda, because it gets them gets them cheaper debt. Okay. Is that what the ESG finance thing is? I don't really know about that. But I actually like I, I would like to talk more about like gaming stuff. I just don't know how to engage in that when I haven't done it that much other than my streams in a way that people would enjoy watching, you know? I feel like the hardest thing about content creation, oh god. Um, often is... knowing what people will actually enjoy, you know? Like, making the right decision on what is going to be enjoyable content. I feel like that's the hardest part of content creation. Okay. Uh, I have a fire somewhere. I think it's up here. Make sure this hasn't spread. Check that. Oh, there's a breach in there too. Okay, good. If there's any other fires or breaches or anything, we're good. Second hardest thing about content creation is probably editing your videos, which is why I don't do it hardly ever at all. Uh, do I care about Burst Laser 1? I had to sell something to show bypass. So, no. We could talk about the challenges of streaming if anybody's interested. <laughs> uh, to stand out these days in content creation space, you need to know a lot of company history and their catalogs. You've like heard of EA and Ubisoft. Do I know every game they've made in the last few years? No. Do you know what their CEO said last week at a conference? Absolutely not. Yeah, true. And that's why I find it interesting watching these videos because it lets me kind of... Um, Keep more of a pulse on that. I can follow some things that I otherwise wouldn't follow. Like, I don't really care about a lot of the stuff he talks about, but sometimes I'm slightly interested to know, huh, what has Blizzard done lately? Who have they pissed off? What game has they have they failed at creating good content for, you know? That's the point. It isn't about what people enjoy. It's about meeting arbitrary diversity quotas so you can qualify for ESG loans. Okay. How many crew do I still have? Just that one guy, okay. I feel like I don't know what you're talking about, Brynolf. <laughs> Are you talking about content creation? Or something else? I don't know what an ESG alone is. I don't know if maybe I'm butting myself into a conversation or having with somebody else because I don't feel like I'm understanding what you're referencing here. Like, I think about, I think, of, sometimes I think about the people who blew up on Twitch, or at least now have thousands of viewers when they play not FTL, but started out playing FTL. The ones I know of are Lethal Frag, Dolphin Chemist, 
Hollow never really blew up, but he got pretty darn popular playing FTL. And I guess me, but I don't actually feel like I ever blew up that much. Because to me, blowing up is getting like over a thousand viewers or something. And it's like, what is, what did, what did they do? You know, are they just that entertaining? Were they just that good at the game? Did they hit the game at the right time? You know? Um, game developers, film producers, what other explanation is, explanation, explanation is there for the last 15 years? Oh, we were talking about hitting the diversity quotas and stuff. Were they just that early to Twitch that they caught an audience? I think for Lethal Frag, that's some of it. Because Lethal Frag is like in Twitch's Hall of Fame for his live stream challenge when Twitch became Twitch from Justin TV. He's also really chill and a lot of people just like that really chill. I mean, I I still drop by and watch him sometimes because I like watching the game he's playing. He's really chill at it. Dolphin Chemist. I've never gotten really into watching him, but I know he's very good at FTL. Um... You think I'm more entertaining? You think I need to get a video editor to edit my runs for people with low attention spans? Yeah. And sometimes I think about that. It's like you got to spend money to make money. And the amount of money it would cost to hire an editor to edit 18 hours of video every week is very expensive. So I probably would have to invest a lot of money in an editor if I wanted to, like, blow up. But the other thing side of that is, are you really ever going to blow up that big as a... As a as an FTL streamer. I don't know that you really are. FTL is not the game that is probably ever going to get you thousands of viewers every week. Unless you get the audience at the right time or some amazing streamer. Again, the only ones I know who consistently do get that many viewers when playing FTL are probably Lethal Frag and Dolphin Chemist, and they don't play the game that often anymore. Uh, Lethal Frag's also got that cat thing around his walls. You don't care for cats, but some people are weirdly find that super uh, entertaining. Yeah, that's true. Cat cams are good. You know what? Maybe that's what Dolphin Chemist and Lethal Frag have in co common. Dolphin Chemist has a dog cam. I know that. Dolphin Chemist has a dog cam. I need to do it in a hot tub. There you go. Uh, being tied to one game is only doable if the game is really big and you think FTL is too niche. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. And that's part of the reason why... Like, when people say, I just need to play other games, I'm like, I feel like... It's... it's, it's you gotta find your niche. But if your niche is too much of a niche, you're never gonna get that big. And FTL feels a little bit like that. Also, I might just be too abrasive for some people. I don't know. I think about these things when I think about my success as a streamer. Uh... And I do use success in quotes. Oh, shit. Because... I probably seem successful to people who have never streamed before, but compared to people who actually do this for a living, I, I feel like I would need to have a lot more success for this to really be a sustainable thing. Need to shoot it in the bathtub with a cat cam. There you go. Combine all of the memes. Cat cam and bathtub. Uh, video editing would be helpful, but as far as you see it, there is also just a lot of luck involved. Streaming at the right time, catching audience that stays around, yeah. Well, I know, at, at one point I did try to... You know, when I did my... When I completed my first streak, I actually did... A, I edited, like, three videos to see if my edited videos would get more views. And it basically got the same number of views I had been getting before. But I had to spend hours editing, and I was like, this is just... It's too much work. Create the content and edit the content. It's so much freaking work, man. So I gave up on that after I think only three videos doing that. Uh, you need a moment, that one instant that you luck out, it goes viral, people come in. Yeah. Yeah. 
That probably helps too, having having a viral moment or whatever. I feel like it's basically got to be literal luck these days and over oversaturated market. Yeah, for sure. Tua. I don't even know what that is. I've only ever heard it on the internet and never actually seen what it is. So <laughs> I'll take your word that that's a good example of that. You would prefer not to think of Hoktua, but the point is valid, yes. Your friends. Doesn't help that my niche is an absolutely brutal game, I know. Well, and that's that's the problem I've been you know, so frustrated with lately is that FTL is one. I still stand by. It's one of the best games ever. I think. I think it is the best streaming game ever. But if that's your niche, and if it's the only thing that you really get a good amount of viewers on, and you are very, if you're not good at being chill when losing, then you have my problem, which is. Um, burnout. Burnout and frustration. We're taking damage here from the missile. He dodges. Ah. Now the missile's back up. I'm going to do not take a missile. Uh, if I can, I would like to refresh these guys. See if I can do that. Where is he? Nope, he's not going to actually fight. He's just going <laughs> to try to go heal. All right, no refreshing then. Wow. Okay, I have a whole secondary boarding party of, of uh, Mantis and Angie's now. Um... Hawk 2 has a random girl being interviewed by a random content creator on TikTok. She went viral. The content creator who the F even knows who made the video got the fame. I very rarely lose FTL. Haven't in at least a couple months till today. It's really impressive and part of why you watch. Yeah, but the uh, motivation of having a goal when I've already completed that goal and now I'm just playing for the viewership, it lo makes me lose the passion for doing the thing, you know? Like, I feel like if there was another game I was passionate about that, about that I could get really good at, maybe I wouldn't feel the burnout so hard. But it's just... It's, uh, you know... Here, here are some of the challenges as a content creator. You want to do something you enjoy so that you're willing to do it 20, 30, 40 hours a week. You need to be good enough at it that people like watching you, or talented enough at, the, at it that they are, um, or funny enough that they find you entertaining. And then you have to create content that will keep people coming back to watch you. And it's it's hard to find that formula. It's hard, and for me the niche has been FTL for whatever reason. And if I try to play something else, people either don't know the game, so they're not interested in it, or, uh, Pre-Igniter. Um, or it's not a genre that they want to play themselves, or they do want to play the game, but they don't want to watch you play it because they don't want to get spoiled by it. Like, you know, finding actual, um, good boarding sport if I want to use that. Finding content to create may maybe be the hardest part of being a content creator finding actual content to create that is sustainable that is you know all the stuff you talk about as a content creator successful popular all that stuff yeah check the vods tv gal uh did that content creator want to sue her for the money she has made because he felt it was his ip because it was he that made her into something hmm. 
Well, I hope that guy's not gonna die. Okay. Black down. Very good. Now our guy gets our guy dies, gets reset, and that's what I want to have happen. I actually want both of them to be reset. I feel like games that have runs are great streaming games. Rogue Lights, the new Hitman mode. Rimworld Fall Guys. Games are just a story. One and done. Aren't worth it, apart from maybe Subnautica, because blind playthroughs are amazing. Ways to re-experience the game for the first time, yeah. Uh, some short tutorial or guides are always a chance to get new viewers. That would mean you would not just play the game, you stream, but to actually create videos to explain stuff. Yeah, M, M uh, Empowers had that really good tip of the iceberg video that did really well. And that's a good way to like start, but unless you're doing that a lot, you're not going to get a lot of return viewership and a lot of success in content creation. At least in my experience. You gotta find your style and keep doing it over and over and over, and it'd be a thing that people want to watch over and over and over again. You also have to be performative. You can make people laugh, IRL, but you come across as quiet and nervous on stream. It's hard to do, yeah. Yeah, streaming is, uh... Content creation is kind of a... Like, light. you gotta catch lightning in a bottle, like being a musician or an actor or comedian or something. Got to find your shtick, do it over and over, and get really good at it. And then, not get burned out from it, I guess. Um, what do I want from a store? Just weapon upgrades now, I guess. I guess backup DNA bank would be the other safe thing. Uh, I do have Zoltan Shield Bypass, and he can't damage us, so let's try to be a hero. Um... This way. You now I'm talking about the Hawk Tua girl. A bunch of public performances stated the money was going to dog rescue. You know, public ignored that part. Not sure how much actually got put to that. What? A content creator taking the money and running? I would never have guessed. This is actually a safe fight if I wanted to train something. What could I train here? I guess I could train dodges. Try to train dodges here. It's like when uh, all the Bitcoin stuff was happening and there was that guy. This is like, when I talk about I like watching Asmongold for certain things, one example of this would be... Um, he did a video about the guy for whatever that Bitcoin company was where the guy left the country or tried to leave the country got arrested while trying to run away. He did like a reacts talking about that whole thing. Octua girl wasn't actually the creator. She just happened to be in the right place at the right time and say the right thing. He also dropped out of school. Did she really? I got famous for saying Octua and now I dropped out of high school and have no life. I wonder if she's actually going to stay famous. Probably going to be like a child actor who like goes into poverty trying to get a job when she has no actual skills. Dumbledoge are somewhat modern here for misses. Yes, Dumbledoge is a long time meme of the chat where I would say, oh, we doged a shot. And then was it Nietzsche or Ren? I think it might have been Ren. It hasn't been around for a while. Made a little a little uh, pixel thing of a little doge, the doge dog. And I thought that was amazing. And then started cutting double doges when we dodged twice and put a wizard hat. And the meme, and thus the meme was born. Double doge might be my favorite meme of the, ch of the channel, actually. I love double doge. Double doge, best doge. Nice. Oh, this is for you. 
Tokyo Heal Bay. Who wouldn't love a Dumbledoge? Only a psychopath wouldn't love a Dumbledoge. To be fair, she got famous for saying she spits. Uh, oh, gosh. I didn't even know that's what it was. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read that out loud because I actually didn't know what it was. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right, well, uh, maybe stop referencing now. I didn't know it was a sex thing. She was in college. You can't confirm she dropped out. She did quit her teaching job for reasons that should be obvious. Okay. Okay. This is a dead end up here. So if I, my stores are up here. Well, actually, is it a dead end? Yes. Yes, it is a dead end. Okay. Today I learned what it means. No wonder people are like, Rand, why are you talking about that? Because I didn't know what it was. You filled me in today, thanks. You could have phrased it better. <laughs> I mean... I think this is the save the end you save yourselves. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There's probably not a polite way to talk about that, so... She has a very successful podcast now, and you hate this timeline. Oh my god. Uh, all your students quoting you for that act if you were lucky to get a job anywhere. Well, you don't have to get a job anywhere now. Apparently, just start a podcast and get famous on uh, on the internet, I guess. That's how, that's how, how the world works now. That's how the world works now. And I don't blame you for hating this timeline. The missile's gonna stay on forever, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. There go. She even has merch. Of course she does. Of course she does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let them repair the weapons. Then I'm going to kill them again. Then I'm going to bring my guys back so I can actually board shields and make this fight not take quite as long, hopefully. Hang out in there. Hacking back on. Hey, we're finally starting to hit, though. Okay, maybe I don't even need to board again. You'd buy her for a clip if she was on that celeb thing we talked about before, cameo or whatever. <laughs> oh god. Uh, get Rand as a guest on Talk Tua. Oh my god. A while ago you saw a video of a kid, five years old, managed to dodge past an NBA player and sink a two-pointer. The person who recorded it uploaded it to YouTube. One million views, a thousand dollars from ads, and that's how they made their rent that month. Yeah, yeah. Was that really only one month's worth of rent they got from that one million views? See, that's the thing. What that's another thing that I don't talk about a lot, but it's something to consider. Is as a content creator, how much money do you actually make through ad revenue? It's not it's not that much. You have to get a ridiculous amount of views for it to actually be lucrative. How much money do YouTube videos? make per view it's around one penny per view for every 1000 views you get between 10 to 30 dollars so if you were to look at my here i'm gonna i'm gonna show you all something here another reason why uh the uh change of uh, job is what I'm considering is we can look at my viewership here are my FTL Harbo no pause videos from last week maxing around out around 1500 views so if you look at this and say I make it max about three thirty dollars per video like you can start to understand why money is an issue like anything that's not an FTL video, my satisfactory videos get below 100 views. My viewership days get two to 500. 
Like, you all might think I'm famous or something, but this viewership does not equal money. Uh, so there's a reason why people will sell out or take sponsorships or, you know, do whatever they can to actually make some money, you know? What's up, Tree and Monkey? Turn in for first time? Welcome. Uh, a while ago you saw... Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. It's not very much money unless you're really, really, really getting a lot of views. I'm famous, just not rich and famous. I guess so, I guess so. Mm. My O2. Just to kind of give you all some perspective on, you know, amount of money a person uploading YouTube videos is making. It's not, it's not a lot unless you're doing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of views. Baldur's Gate 3 contact, uh, content possibility of Real Rock B? Not anytime soon. I did a playthrough on Shogi stream and it was pretty fun. But I'm honestly, after Christmas, looking to do less streaming. If you haven't hung out and heard that lately. Thank you for the gifted subs, though. I appreciate those four gifted, five gifted subs. It's a lot harder than some might think. Also, only a few cents. Few percent are making big money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, long range scanners and small bomb are good for boarding. Yeah, I've heard that. Sorry to hear. Well, it's my own decision. It's not like I'm being forced to stop. I'm just. Been having slight money issues and major burnout from FTL. So, I've been looking into getting into um, audio engineering. That's the field I'm looking to get into. After my busy Christmas season of singing ends, I'm going to be hopefully, hopefully not getting lazy, but very go-getter applying for some uh, uh, internships to learn. I've been trying to do a little bit of learning on my own, but find some internships to kind of get in that field. It's my goal. Who do I want to board? Slugs or NGs? Do I care about stores? I guess I care about weapons. I had a whole repair that I didn't sell. You're awaiting the ads blending in here to give your share. I Thanks. Uh, thanks for that, Xiaomi. Uh, I don't play ads very often, to be honest. Probably part of the reason why I don't make a ton of ad revenue. I hate ads, so I play them as little as I can kind of get by with. You know, I don't do middle of the video ads on YouTube. At least I don't think so, unless YouTube forces those out. I don't know. I can never tell what YouTube forces on their videos. Uh, I only do pre-rolls and post-rolls on YouTube. And then on Twitch, I only run ads on my breaks, so. Good luck. I appreciate it. We're just talking about other stuff, because uh, our our streak got reset today, and I'm just, I'm kind of done with, kind of done with FTL right now. So anything I'm doing right now is kind of just going through the motions, is what I'm trying to say. Fuck you, FTL. Fuck you, kinda just going through the motions right what now. The fuck? It's hard to get uh, motivated after a a loss in FTL. Hard to get motivated. That's past Rand so eloquently stated right there. F this game. One of the streamers you watched does enough ads to get to 50% ad revenue, but never pre-rolls. And pause the game when ads so no one misses anything. I don't even know what that means to get to 50% ad revenue. I don't I don't really know what that means. God, I can't actually okay, there we go. The guy just died somewhere. Okay. Wish you hadn't predicted today as the saltiest day of the year. You didn't want to be a prophet. 
Well, I predicted what happened too, so you're not the only one. We're all predicting horrible negative things, and now I'm just sadly talking about life. Life choices and streaming woes. But hey, I would be happy to help anybody else who ever wants to get out into streaming as I talk about how sucky streaming is. <laughs> I'm happy to help anybody who is interested in getting into it. I will just always be very upfront about the chances of you actually becoming rich and famous, or even just famous. The chances are low. You were watching a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 content lately? People make a lot of fun out of the game, huh? It's a great game. I definitely enjoyed the playthrough I did with Shogi and Ramses that we did. It was just us three? I think it was just us three. Three minutes every hour is... Oh, the 50% ad revenue thing. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I basically run... Um, three minutes of ads after the first two hours, then one minute of, that of ads after the next two hours. So I do very way below what Twitch wants you to do because I kind of feel like it's I don't know if selling out is the right word but businesses want you to run a lot of ads so that they can run a lot they can make a lot of money they don't actually do it because they want to support you although that's probably what they say they want to do they just want to make money. That's what businesses are. That's what they want to do. And to me, running that many ads is the reason I don't watch cable TV anymore. Is because ads are stupidly over prevalent. So I try to kind of run as few as I can get by. Can you have my camera and lights? No. But I'll tell you what I bought so you can buy the same. They're pretty they're pretty good deal I got for these lights and well, the quality's been pretty darn good. For about 200 bucks, you could probably get this lighting and camera setup that I have. It's not that expensive, not too bad. Um, I can actually use this heal bomb to heal my dudes, which would be very nice. Rand looting during combat was great in the Baldur's Gate 3 runs. That's right. That's what I'm known for now, apparently. <laughs> I'm the guy who loots during combat guy. Uh, not the NG. You. You. Damn it, I just vented you and I didn't mean to. Best thing that can happen now is the auto engineering will get me an internship and Twitch YouTube viewership will recover from the absence of FTL. Yeah. I don't know what the future is going to hold. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll find out I hate audio engineering and I'll come back and try to figure out how to make more money while streaming. I have no idea, but I'm I'm just I'm so burnt out I'm ready to try something different. So Prakagak. Hope the FTL is going well. Not at all. It's good to see you though. Not at all. The FTL is actually going kind of terrible today. Because we reset and uh Lost another streak. And anytime that happens, I get super existential and start talking about random stuff. Like... Difficulties of streaming and... How to change... Make changes in your life or something. Finish this fight. If I do this, that should force these guys through. You have a lot of crew on this pirate instigator. Okay. Um, all right, let's get our heal bomb up again because our lanius are really low.
Hate to see it. Yeah, yeah, it's been a rough day. We were at 19 in a row, beat Zoltan C, rolled Zoltan A, which is probably the strongest ship I had left in the streak, and died basically to Sector 4 Captain Knights. Followed by an event that did 5 hole damage that when I looked it up didn't say it did 5 hole damage because I looked up the wrong event. Because apparently there's actually two events in Slug Sectors that have investigate the battlefield. One of them does not do 5 hole damage. The other one does do 5 hole damage. I looked up the one that doesn't do 5 hole damage and thought I was safe and then died to 5 hole damage when I had zero fuel and was looking for a store to recover from my 5 health. It was pretty bullshit. Kind of sucked. It's a really, 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 really terrible way to end a streak. If I were a hot dog and I was... Brian, if you were a hot dog and you were a starve, would you eat yourself? Oh, I know I would. I'd slather myself with hot mustard. I'd be so delicious. Yes, obviously. Who wouldn't? Only a crazy person. Oh, a baby could answer the question, Norm. A baby could I answer it. Dodges. Anybody repairing? Yes, there is. Kill him. I will kill him. Come oh, on, die, dude. Let me get the crook out. There it is. Give them nothing and you just feel no fear. And then after that death, we died like four times in a row on ships that are not that bad that we were just getting wrecked. One to a shield hack event, one to... I don't know, I think it was an asteroid field on Stealth Sea. Like, I was just dying over and over, and it's just... Oh, it's been one of my worst FTL days ever, which is sad, because we were up to 19 wins in a row. Only, what was that? Nine away from getting our second cycle streak completed. Exactly five damage. It was exactly five hole damage when I had exactly five health. Uh, I think this might be a level 2 heal bay thing. FTL, dock with the station and investigate. Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah, I need some med bay, I think. Pretty sure you can make more money from Twitch and find new ways with the right game and some luck involved. I'm very entertaining and also engaging with the community. Thanks, Ninja. I appreciate that. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of encouraging folks that hang out on Twitch, and I really appreciate all that encouragement. Honestly, part of the reason I'm so excited for a certain couple of games that are coming out soon is that I really want to stream them. Not because I think a lot of people will watch, but because I think I'll might actually have some passion about a game I'll play again, which basically, apart from FTL, I'm usually pretty excited to play new games, but uh, I'm really excited about a couple games that are coming out soon. Well, one game that's coming out soon, another game that's basically in a early, free early access state. Being a little less uh, careful with my guy's health because, one, they have a lot of crew and it's hard to be careful with your health when you're fighting six dudes with two dudes. And we have a heal bomb, which is actually really nice here. Okay, I'm hoping for a store with actual weapons. I'm gonna shut down my engines. They're in my back 
pack a battery, kill your friends. Call on the heal day. Fire this for weapon training. Goodbye. We almost had a pregnatter heal bomb, lol. True. True. It's no pre-ignited repair bomb saving the run, though. Watch my other scores if I have them be back here that I missed. Oh, well. All right. My control for a store. All right, let's take whole laser one. Something to help me kill auto scouts. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the whole uh, the uh, heal bomb. It's actually quite useful on this ship. Uh, advanced flak, full laser for auto scouts, small bomb for boarding support. Yeah, it was only a one in five chance for the whole damage that killed us too, yeah. This the stars deligned to F me by FTL. I kinda I had the feeling as I was thinking about that investigate the battlefield was like I feel like I've taken whole damage of this fight to this event before. But I looked it up and it says I can't. It was like one of those where it's like, you know, we're in a bad spot. And I have a bad feeling, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for it because it feels like I did my due diligence and checked it out. And then death. And then death. <laughs> Just a, just a bad time today, man. Just a bad time. My spidey sense was tingling. It was. It was. I should have listened to my spidey sense. The other issue was I had zero fuel, so I didn't take that chance. I was sitting there with no fuel in a slug sector with my distress beacon on, hope, hoping I get fuel in a store before I die. So, you know, I could have just died after that anyway, but to die to free hole damage is just... Ugh. Ignoble. I think that's a word. An ignominious, ignoble way to go or something. Big ol' let down. Control, which is here. Uh. Okay. And this is for you. Oh, I timed this wrong, didn't I? Yep. No level three. It is level three. Okay. There we go. Free crew, great. What do you have? Engine training? Do I need engine training? Uh, no, but I think I do need shield training, don't I? I have a little shield training. I'd rather my mantis be free, though. Actually, do it this way. These guys will be my secondary boarders here. And let's heal these guys up. This way. Who else needs healed? You do. Good enough. Okay. Power for the half power nebula here. I already got manly search.
Okay. Oops, I took that power out sooner than, sooner than I should have, actually. Doing this very well. Shoot my own guys here to help me get. Oh, didn't get that first laser to down now, so yeah. And now it's back up. It says about it says about your ship making a mighty fine prize or something. Wait, is there a way to know if Manta's ship will make an instant jump before fighting it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, reading before. Look up. Uh, ship collectors. Look up FTL ship collectors, and you can see what the text is. And yeah, I think like I watch FTL said, it's it's something about your ship will make a mighty fine prize or something like that. But you can do what I do. Look it up. Check the wiki and hope you don't check the wrong event that makes you think you're safe and you're not. Because that's what I do. And I have a canceled streak and I'm sad and whining about it. Okay, uh, 126 scrap. We got a store over here. Hmm. I can't get this jump and the store without having to backtrack, apparently. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll be backtracking then. Nice. Got plenty of missiles, so I can bomb that. It's great. Get a ball, double fire, get wrecked. Beautiful. Never realized you got paid if you let the ship collector leave twice. You don't know why you'd let them do that, but apparently it's a thing. Yeah, you still get. I think you get a weapon no matter what, or something like that, right? That's true. Uh, who all my teals? Group them up in the room. Just in time. Nice heal bomb value we're getting this run. Is everyone taken? Like, nobody's taken because of how salty I was earlier. Oh, well, one slug tomo. You can be the other border. One. Sorry about the negativities earlier. Sorry I messed up the payout chat earlier. Sorry. I swear, when I lose FTL, I just stop caring about life, really. This is just all, all salt. All salt. And all that, and he still gets two fucking missile shots off. The balanced ship you have, sir. Triple fucking missile, an Artemis Alito, and some other missile. I we still get a free flag for it. Fuck this fucking fucker game! So we take game. like ten goddamn damage for the goddamn flak. Uh, you get high scrap and resources after they flee the second time. Okay. Coming up. 
Oh, we have two stores actually. First laser two again. Well, my weapons are definitely looking good, that's for sure. What sector are we in? Six or seven, I think. Sector six, okay. Let's just check the scoop store, see if there's anything I care about. I kind of want to get this burst laser online. That's the backup DNA bank, okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of Heal Bomb, not the backup DNA bank, actually. Now oh, my stomach's hurting. It's been a great day all around. Great day. Let's go double flak, first laser two, and just hurry up and finish this run. How many jumps do I have? Six. Sure, have some fuel. Thanks for the 59 scrap. Asteroid field. Kinda need power and level 3 hack, and we're ready for the boss. That missile should go down, I think. Good. How am I really gonna live with like no health? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> well, okay. We have a free halberd beam. The game has given up and it's just giving us all the best stuff for free now. Cool. battery again. For your friends. Good dodges. Um, I kind of do want to board with these guys so I can reset their health. Good. Just secondarily board with these guys. Nice eight power weapon system? It is. Uh, advanced flak, flak, first laser two, uh, halberd beam is really good. It's crazy to say we're gonna have a good eight power weapon system on this boarding ship. But hey, we get the best of both worlds. And it keeps just giving us more free stuff. Once you got a good run, FTL just gives up. It's like, okay, here's all the free stuff. So you can just hurry up and kill me already, FTL says. Trying to apologize for the Captain Knights with seven power weapons and six power shields in Sector 4. So balanced. No, I'm not bitter. Why do you ask? Why would I be bitter about that? I can't think of a single reason. Uh, this guy, will I reset you? Yeah, let's reset them both if I can. Let's up. This. I got only explode on one dude. Frickin' all the free weapons, man. All the free weapons. Game no I doesn't care. So it's like, here you go. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Thanks for the free stuff. Barely paying attention.
following the board twice here. We want you to die. Kill him, please. Somehow I didn't take damage there when I did not play that super well. Losing a streak, especially multiple losses back to back, does for sure ruin the F out of your day. It's just. It makes me go, what am I even doing, you know? Uh, I guess I'm working, but it uh, doesn't feel like I'm working towards anything useful. Yeah, I got this terrible ship out of the way. This arguably best ship in the game. Better get it out of the way. Shield hack plus offensive drone. Fun times. Running away is not allowed, sir. <sighs> uh, NG or Abandoned 7. No thanks, Abandoned 7. Even though I am the Lanius Bomber, I don't want to mess with other Lanius Bombers. I haven't even checked what's in my cargo hold. I know there's at least a halberd beam in there. Before that hits, yes, I can. Okay, what do we got here? Med bay. Okay, I have a literal full cargo hold of weapons. Okay. Um. Thing is, I don't know that I even want to get rid of this small bomb. I think I'll keep it as my transition weapon until I get halberd beam, or can I just get halberd beam online? Just get it online. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, do I need anything else? I have 10 jumps, I have 10 fuel. We have just enough fuel. Pull up on augments, but they're all the boarding support augments, so we'll hold on to those. Missile. Take the bribe. I don't want to take a missile to the face. Just kind of speed running to the end here a bit. Although I'm not speed running very fast. I'm going to start one-shotting some dudes with a halberd beam and... I have like all of the S-tier weapons right now, it's crazy. And the godly weapon system? Mm-hmm. Sure is. Sure is. I don't have sensors though. I never bought sensors at a store. I wonder if I saw them. I feel like I would have bought them if I saw them with how much scrap I was floating. Take a missile to the face. It's looking like yes. Level 3 cloak with a big giant effing missile. Balanced. Okay, I can't play that shit. Okay, it's, thankfully it's slow enough that we actually do get that down in time. Missile not allowed. Fuel bay dead. Good. Much streamer luck. So easy, yeah. Yeah, we've had no negatives or bad times or unlucky plays today. Dead. Very good. 
Not even lucky, just good. Wait, that's backwards. Not even good, just lucky. No cloaking means I do need to get fourth shield, and I have been remiss in my... acquiring of said best uh, whatever I can't talk well I just killed my two crew and dodged fucking zero shots well that was goddamn 10 hull damage out of fucking nowhere Jesus alright well we killed him anyway Guess we dodged literally jack shit against him. Cool. Alright, we should be able to get our fourth shield. I recognized it early enough that I should be able to... Oh, that's a breach. Should be able to make that happen. I wonder if I, my power was misplaced or something there. Take all that damage. You get the repair. Okay. We don't technically have missile defense on this ship, actually. But we do have crew loss protection because we have back at the end of That's good. Beautiful. Okay, no double reward, so sad. Uh, is there anything I even want from a store now? I mean, not really. Sensors, I guess. The one system I never did get. It's pretty luxury buy to get sensors on Lanius B. Okay, well thanks for the free drone parts, I guess. Here's a quest that you can't do. Here's an asteroid field that is empty. Alright, I think selling long-range scanners would get me sensors. And if that is my if that is an option, I might just do it. Ah, uh, no, I'm five scraps short. Well, I don't want to sell my backup DNA bank though. No sensors for me unless we get them in Sector 8. Finally, we can get... <laughs> we get a giveaway missiles. We get an augment that is effing useless. Thanks, FTL. Final trolling of this run. Well... Almost a forced dive to get to the base. That's taken over instantly. Oh, I think I'm going to take so much damage trying to get to the base with no fucking cloaking here. i got to be very careful. Very careful. Any ship that has a missile, pack weapons, board weapons, I have to shoot weapons to not take a missile, to not go into the boss fight with a handicap. Lower health. God, I'm six jumps away from the base if I go down this way, which is what I was going to do to avoid diving there. Okay. I'm a little worried that we actually die on the boss. Well, maybe not. I have zones for bypass. It's more about how many missiles do I take to the face while trying to use our OP, OP, OP systems, uh, weapon systems. Thank <laughs> you. 
busy, busy, busy. Good. I think I timed those weapons correctly. I think I got everything through at full damage, including the halberd beam. To be cloaked for days is all right. 56 scrap. Yeah, we're guaranteed to dive now, whichever direction I go. I'm gonna get to the base after the boss. This could be very bad, actually. This, this sector eight layout is terrible. My fastest way to the base is double diving. How quickly he's getting to the base, I might have to do that shit. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, going this way was a single dive. Maybe if I go around, I can not dive at all, but I might get there late enough that I wouldn't be able to reset the fight if we get a bad hack, so... Shouldn't ever be able to fire his missile by doing it this way, hopefully. Shoot my own crew once. Sorry, crew. No offense, but big effing missile at, aimed at my face means you take a bit of a beam to the face. One, two, three. Alright, that's my only chance of not diving, so I'll try to not dive. Value. If that gets taken over and I have to dive anyway and I get to the boss later, I'll be sad. Okay, we need to crew kill this. Please, no missile. Please. Okay, good. Right, and I do want to refresh my guys because we're going to the boss fight here, so... I can get you guys killed, that would be great. Let's finish him. Good. Go here. Let him in and kill them. Uh, they have been beating on that door a bit already, apparently. There we go. No, not enough time. Bull shenanigans is good. All right, good. It's not a dive. Good. If I can get my last value point that I'm missing there, I'm probably... I don't even know what I'll get. Maybe level 3 piloting as my last upgrade. Wish I could get an extra power. No power available. Well, the missile was down, and then it's not down again. Now I think I take this damage. Unless we can dodge it. Nope. Alright, it's only one damage, I guess. Could be worse. Fire my weapon in the wrong order. Uh, I want you guys to die again. Because now we are going to the boss fight. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. I didn't kill you. Thank you. Perfect. Gratitude. Wonderful. Hoping you'd give me some gratitude. I just ran out. Okay. Time for boarding strats versus the boss, everybody. 
Oh, there is a store, though. Okay, if we can get a store to stay up after first phase, that would be really nice. Okay, so... Hack missiles. Board. Ion. Board. All the normal stuff, I just don't have cloaking, so... Uh, let's get piloting and... I don't even know. Maybe I'll have extra power to make a bit of Reddit engines worthwhile. Here we go. Hoping I can repair at the store after phase one. What's the hack? Engines is perfectly fine. Almost was too late on that. Good. So there was a breach there, fire, but I don't know that any of these weapons start breaches or fires. It's fine. Stop you from repairing. That will work, though. it over and over. Probably eventually shoot it. We actually only need three shields now. Oh man, did they kill it before they get in? That would even be better. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's a vented room with a broken system that they can't fix. Beautiful. Here, kill him, and we go in there. I have no sensors, so I have no idea how many more crew I gotta kill, so I'm just gonna have to watch for the, the message that says the AI took over. They're pretty close to running out of crew. It might just be these last two dudes, actually. Perfect. That should do it. There it is. Very good. All right, hopefully a smooth phase two and three. Let's see if I can repair. Store still up? Okay. Oh, what's up, Tim Tam? What is up? Don't need long-range scanners. I don't necessarily need backup DNA bank, but might as well keep it. Speed hack our crew back alive. Um, these guys deal with the boarding drone. I actually have um, Belanius stay over and deal with the boarding drone. They don't care about getting vented by the boarding drone. So we insta-board into missiles, we hack shields, and kill them as quickly as possible. All the normal stuff. We can get... The only thing we can get is either oxygen or clone bay. So let's go clone bay, I guess. In my clone bay, okay. Oh, nice double fire in the shield room, get wrecked. No cloaking for us. Huh. We killed him so fast, the uh. Uh, the overcharge never even happened. Get wrecked. Alright, we have mind control counter for this, so that's nice. So, with mind control counter... Um, I do want to just instantly board in their missiles, I think, right? Yeah, I counter the mind control, then board missiles, and hopefully dot 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 profit. 28 scrap gets us nothing. 
follow him. I will follow him. These fucking dodges! Death by a thousand you. fucking Give me some triple hit. Dodges, you uh, maybe we got hit. Maybe we got through once. Oh, that's a fire in my O2. There's a fire in my O2. And you're gonna die repairing? Nope, you're good, you're good. Save my crew? What do I care about my crew? What do I care about anything? GG cookie time. One win in a row. <sighs> After a Zoltan A loss and a bunch of other stupid losses. Yay, new streak that I don't care about. Oh, this game. This freaking game, man. Freaking Zoltan A was the one that ended that last streak. I still can't believe it. Check the score. 59-47. Yay for high score, who even cares? I know, the loss makes me have a hard time having any happiness after the next win. So, thank you for the 100 bits, Flirch, and I appreciate that. Uh, you didn't see the la the loss? Yeah, check the VOD. It was a frustrating one. It was a really frustrating one. There's all the numbers that people like to see. Super strong. But my friends, I'm going to call it there. This is a rough day of FTL. I hope you all had a good time. Uh, my negativity, I know, is maybe not some people's favorites, but FTL is one of those games where sometimes it feels like no matter how well you play, you just can't outplay RNG. So, uh, there's, a, there's the VOD if you want to check it. You heard the Rebels are not projected to win the election at least, which means no missiles next year. Yay, yay. So my friends, I'm going to call a day there. Tomorrow we're going to play some Satisfactory to recover from the salt. We'll continue to play FTL on Thursday because I am a slave to the algorithm. But uh, I appreciate all the support. We had li lots of gifted subs, bits, regular subs, follows, all that stuff today. Appreciate all the support even when I'm so sad from FTL. So as usual, thank you for the support. I will see you all tomorrow or Thursday or whenever. And until next time. Good luck on your own runs, and I hope you have better RNG than I do sometimes. But y'all have a good night. Peace out. Later, my friends.